Well, good morning from Kolkata. We have made it to our final destination in India. Final stop. We're kind of all dropping like flies. Oh like, my goodness. My mom's really sick. Yes. You've been really sick for a few days. Luckily, yeah. I've been okay. I Sam's got, okay. I got sick about five days ago and I've been I've been okay the past few days. Mm -hmm. My dad's kind of got so, a bit of so. a cold. He's so, so, so. We're... <laughs> We're kind of just all barely hanging in there. But, yeah, um, so I, I went missing halfway through the Varanasi vlog, so Sam yeah. continued on without me. I spent our last day in Varanasi just puking my guts out, and I'm, I'm slowly on the mend, but I'm still not well enough to go sightseeing today. So Sam is going to show you around Calcutta with his dad, yeah. which should be a fun adventure. And he's actually knocking on the door right now, so mm. I'm going right. to let him in. So time to go sightseeing with Sam and George. We didn't venture too far on our first day. Our hotel was located in Kulutola, just east of the Maidan. So we mostly wandered the park on foot and watched a bit of cricket before heading down to Victoria Memorial. So the one thing you'll notice if you're touring around Calcutta just on foot is just how popular cricket is here in the city. It is just everywhere you go, anytime there's like a park or an open space, you'll see a bunch of men playing cricket. So next up we're visiting Victoria Memorial Hall and to visit the garden, it's like the cost of a cup of chai on a train in India. It's only 10 rupees. So yeah, it's really cheap to go in. If you want to go visit the museum, it is 200, but we're, uh, we're a little tired today. So we're just going to walk around the premises and take some shots. The Victoria Memorial was built to commemorate Queen Victoria after her passing, and it officially opened in 1921. Inside they have a collection of Indian paintings and Western paintings, as well as rare photographs, old manuscripts, and coin collections. So it was just a short outing this morning. Yeah, we just, uh, we got we got tired by the heat and humidity, didn't we? It's, yeah, it's really humid. hot. The humidity was a lot. It was killer today. Yeah, a lot yeah. worse than what it, what it what we've been used to, so it yeah. just drained us. I think it's like low 30s high, or sorry, low to mid 30s, so yeah, yeah we're just gonna head back. We're gonna get some lunch, and then maybe this afternoon we'll explore a bit more, maybe buy a rickshaw. Yeah. like I'm rejoining the vlog towards the end but I'm finally feeling well enough I don't sound amazing but I'm not puking so bonus points anyways today is our last day in Kolkata we just said goodbye to Sam's parents this morning and we're flying out tomorrow so we're gonna go do some sightseeing it's almost sunset time so we're thinking of doing a rickshaw tour around part of the city um, and ooh, in our room, this is the mystery, we saw a creature scuttling across the floor and we haven't been able to figure out if it's a gecko or a mouse. We have two pieces of evidence. We saw geckos in Sam's parents' room and they were like crawling on the walls. But then I also found mouse droppings underneath my pillow. So it could be either of the two creatures. Sam's not impressed in the bathroom. He's like, oh. uh I'm hoping it's a gecko because I'm I'm personally afraid of, of mice. He's hoping if, it's a gecko. If I find the mouse, if I found the mouse, I think I'm gonna freak out. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna be packing the bags um, tonight and just shaking everything out and make sure we're not taking a mouse back home to Canada because that wouldn't be good. But anyways, let's go sightsee around Kolkata. With only two of us remaining, we went out for a little walk around our neighborhood. We found some street art, took photos of the iconic yellow cabs, watched a game of cricket on the street, and then befriended a sweet dog along the way. Oh, of course you're sweet. Every dog is sweet here. Are you? Yeah, I'm just looking for food. I'm just looking for treats. Oh, look at you. You have a nice eye. Sam should get one of the outfits right behind them. Yes, no, I would vote for the Aladdin pants, gold Aladdin pants, burgundy shirt, oh yeah. <laughs> So 
visiting the Sir Stewart Hog Market was a bit of a bust. We were basically surrounded by a group of people who just wanted to sell us stuff and take us to their shops. And I mean, you do get hassled quite a bit in India, but it usually it's just like one or two people trailing along, not like being encircled by men. So I think we're gonna ditch the market and wander on foot. So forget shopping. We had enough of that change of plans. So we're now we're gonna try to get some of, well, maybe the best views in our neighborhood. We found a rooftop bar that is on the ninth floor. So yeah, I think it's called Blue and Beyond. This is awesome. It's 520 right now and the sunset's at 540. So I think we're coming at just Ooh, the right time. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Well, this is a fancy hotel. I bet they don't have any mice here like in our hotel. We clearly should have stayed at the Lindsay. Now let's go to the bar. So it's a bit overcast. We didn't get a magical sunset, but we did get food. It's pretty good. We have a metze platter with pita, hummus, baba ganoush, iced tea, and Sam is already digging in. <laughs> it was quite overcast in Calcutta that day, so we didn't get a great sunset, but it was still a nice spot to cool off with a drink and see the city from a different vantage point. Okay, so we're doing a pole rickshaw tour. And you're already on. How do you feel? Check this out. Wow. So we are doing a tour by Pool Rickshaw because apparently these are typical of Calcutta yeah. and Sam was very adamant about it. This was the one thing he wanted to do. And I feel pretty bad because we're these two plump foreigners. <laughs> Yeah, we, we are. A bit, we're a bit of a heavy, heavy load, but I mean, I have a lot of respect for these yeah. these drivers. They they work hard for to earn a living. Yeah, and we're, we're definitely paying tourist prices, and we're yeah. also going to give them. We're going to tip. We're well. going to give them a really big tip. So I, I feel bad, but I guess this is what you do in Calcutta. All right, guys. So that is a wrap from Calcutta. We are all packed up and ready to go. So yeah, that's basically the end of our journey in India, and what a journey it was. Oh my gosh, like, yeah. <laughs> it's been a crazy month. It's been a, it's been a roller coaster ride of highs and lows, and we'll be talking more about that in a travel tips video coming mm -hmm. up soon. So. But for now, we have three flights, three back to back flights that we need to catch, and we'll tell you where we're going in our next video if we haven't already. I can't remember. But see you next time. <laughs> Ta -ta. Bye.